Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are in front of the Marina Bay Sand Hotel. I am going for the river safari today. Enjoy the views, it's a beautiful place here in Singapore. Don't forget to like and subscribe my channel too. Directly ahead is Cabana Bridge, completed in 1869 and named after Colonel Sir William Arthur Cabana, Singapore's last governor. It's Singapore's only suspension bridge to have retained its intricate original form. It was manufactured in Scotland, then shipped to Singapore later to be assembled. Unfortunately, the bridge was built too low and boats had to wait for low tide before they could pass. So look out and don't forget to duck as we cruise under the bridge. <laughs> Just kidding. Coming up on the other side of Cabana Bridge, you'll see a group of little boys jumping into the river. Don't worry about jumping in to save them. They're actually incredibly lifelike bronze sculptures showing a scene from the river's past, where children would stand and wave cheekily from their houses. Before they left in, they would take off all their clothes and jump in for a cool afternoon swim. Standing tall and majestic is the exclusive Fullerton Hotel, which blends the elegance of old world charm with every modern convenience. Built in 1928, lots of paper pushing went on behind the hotel's splendid columns before its glamorous makeover. Its facade is a masterpiece of neoclassical grandeur, which belies its much stuffier original occupants, the Chamber of Commerce offices and the General Post Office, from which mail was transported along the Singapore River to and from ships. Since the 1950s, this was also the site of many political campaign rallies, but even longer before that, it was occupied by Fort Fullerton, built to defend the town at the mouth of the Singapore River. This promontory to your right used to be home to the Mer Lion, Singapore's half lion, half fish icon. The Malayan stood guard here at the river mouth for 30 years before it was hauled by barge to its new home in the bay in 2002. As we move our way out into Marina Bay, you'll be able to see the Malayan for yourself and hear all about its story. History lesson. Singapore was originally known as the ancient city of Tomasik, which means sea town in Javanese. But according to legend recorded in the Malay annals, Prince Sang Nila Utama renamed it Singapura, meaning Lion City in Sanskrit, after he spotted a lion on its shores. <laughs> the lion's head represents the lion spotted by the legendary Sang Nila Utama, while its fish tail symbolizes Tomasik and Singapore's humble beginnings as a fishing village. Measuring 8.6 meters high and weighing 70 tons, the Malayan sits on reclaimed land looking out to sea. She attracts millions of visitors a year who make the trip to Malayan Park to photograph this world-famous icon at her new home right here in scenic Marina Bay. Take a peek behind the Malayan and you'll see a baby Malayan. Believe it or not, its scales are made from pieces of porcelain repurposed from spoons, bowls and plates. Next to the Malayan and her cub is a luxurious lifestyle dining and waterfront hotel hub known as the Fullerton Heritage that blends exciting futuristic projects with the older colonial landscape of Singapore.
I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. Now is my time to shine. Let's when your time comes, don't postpone it. When others doubt and out, you don't condone it. Truth be told, yourself is your toughest opponent. When your moment comes, grab hold and own it.